Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Forgive me for my outfit and the way I look today. Um, I just finished working out. I am working from home the remainder of this week. So I am going to show you guys how I set everything up for a manicure and a pedicure. And this is all the stuff that I take with me. So imagine if this was me walking into a client's home and this is where we were going to perform the manicure and pedicure. Let me show you. I think I've got several videos of most of my setup, but this one should, should provide you with absolutely everything. So first of all, this is my table. This was purchased from Amazon, and I do have several review videos and demos of it, I believe, on my channel. I will try to find the link to this and leave it below, or I will link the other video. This is the brand, but it is fairly lightweight. It will go over your shoulder to carry it with you. Pretty easy to set up, so you are just going to Unzip. Okay. So this is the table. And it just folds into fours. Now it did not come with my um, logo. This is something I made with my Cricut machine and I applied it to my table. I do plan on making a little QR code eventually so that clients can just scan that. Okay, so here is the table. And to set up, you're just going to raise your legs up, lock them into place. It does have two table heights. Pull the legs out to make your table taller. You flip it over. Again, securing your legs down. And then these right here are going to lock the table together. Like so. So now the table is sturdy. The reason that I really like this table is because you can see that there is nothing in the middle. So when you and your client are sitting, and this is not how I dress for my clients, tell you guys, I'm just at home today, I'm off today to try and clean the house and prepare for the remaining of my clients this, this week. Okay, so when you are sitting under the table, you have all this leg room. So if your client happened to be um, bound to a chair or, um, you know, anything like that, you're able to put this over their lap and your lap and it makes it just so much easier to work and you're not having to stretch over anything so this is how i would set it up see the table sets right in front of the client their legs can go underneath and so can mine now for my tape or my chair this is a piano bench keyboard piano bench, whichever you want to call it, that does fold so you can take it with you. Folds up really nicely, okay? And then it just locks right into place when you're ready to use it. So I use this as my chair. So you can see my legs go all the way underneath here. Client's legs will go underneath here too. It makes it so much easier than having to like reach and bend over um, or work from a kitchen table. So I definitely recommend that if you are a mobile nail technician, you definitely invest in a table like this that has legs on each side because it just makes it so much easier. So I also use this table, right, or this not table, but the chair as my pedicure stool for the client. Okay, so yeah. now this is my mobile case. Most of you guys have seen this in several videos. Um, I am back into my Husky case. This is just my ride or die case. I cannot say enough good things about this case. It's just absolutely perfect for a mobile nail technician, anybody mobile really. 
So I already have a tour up on my channel of this case. If you want to know what's in it, please go find I've that got video. I've everything broken down and put away. And so what I would do next is I would take my stool and I would have one of my liners on top of this. It would go here so that the client is sitting in the chair. This is the perfect height for me not having to bend over. I can move it more towards them so that their feet are hanging off and I can easily maneuver their feet any which way that I need to. Okay, this is the best part. This is your chair. So I found this on Amazon. Um, I can't remember the weight limit. I want to say 250-300. Not exactly sure, but this is a collapsible stool. So when the client is using my chair for the pedicure, I use this. So you just, it's, it kind of folds up like an umbrella. You're going to just open it up and you're going to pull your little feet out until you hear it click. And here is your stool. I am at the perfect height to do a pedicure. I am not having to bend over. I'm not having to sit on the floor, um, reaching and or bending over. The client's feet are not having to sit in my lap and I'm having to do this. I can actually sit up straight and work on the client. When you are finished, it is very easy to fold up. You're just going to fold it up like you would an umbrella. Once it's closed with the seat part, these just push right back in. Sometimes I have a little bit of an issue getting some of these in, but just kind of wiggle them back down, they'll go in. I don't know why they get a little stuck like that. Not easy to sell somebody on a product when it won't go in, huh? <laughs> Anyways, but it does work very well. I have loved it a lot. Um, great thing about this too is if you're camping or traveling or you're going to like an amusement park or something and you need a seat with you, I don't know if you're allowed to take these, but you know, I was thinking for the summertime if we go to Six Flags, I could totally order more of these instead of having to wait in long lines. Look at that. And then you can just carry this with you bust it out when you're sitting in the line um anyways so that is how i set up for the pedicure and of course like my um my husky thing would be sitting right here next to me so i can work straight out of it and that's it so please excuse me once again for the way i look today i'm sweaty i'm a mess I just finished working out trying to get housework done and prepare for this week's work schedule so Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions about anything that I showed you, please find me on Instagram. It's gonna be the easiest way to um, message me and get an answer. So if you don't already, follow me over there and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.